hi welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel hi welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle hi how you all doing I hope everybody's as well as possible I hope everybody's having as good weekend as possible um, if you haven't subscribed to my travel and my lifestyle channel please subscribe a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so I really appreciate it if you haven't already subscribed um, today in northwest leicestershire the weather is uh, cloudy at the moment um but um it seems dry um today i'm going to be doing a budget travel special 10 exciting facts august 2024 part two um, so I'm going to fire away um, with the first uh, fabulous uh, bu budget travel fact um, is uh, number one if you're traveling then you can get a job overseas um, from your native country and there are plenty of opportunities in the world um, um, as long as you're not picky um, after all this isn't um, a career that you're starting it's just a way of earning money um, when you're traveling um, again you could be a bartender a hostel worker or pair uh, that's a, a living um, caregiver who helps um, a host family um, looking um, after their children and doing some basic hair housekeeping um, in exchange you'll get a free room and board and a small salary at that um, no, uh, number two well there's also um, jobs as waitress and waiter tour operator uh, tour guide casino worker cruise ship um dive instructor seasonal worker at ski resorts or you could be a seasonal worker at a holiday resort um a yacht worker a yoga instructor you could also teach overseas like my cousin dominic did he teached english english in thailand and um, work on um, a farm um also at uh, number two is uh, use the sharing economy um find cheap accommodation quirky tour guides ride share options home cut meals um with uh, local chefs websites um our blah blah car which is a ride sharing app eat with is a platform that uh, connects you to the locals local cooks serving private meals also our v share lets you uh, send um rvs and uh, camper vans uh, direct or you can rent out rvs and direct camper vans from locals um also um tino um, is a car sharing marketplace that lets you rent out vehicles from locals so if you wanted to hire a car then you can go on that team uh, or Toro app and um, camp space this lets you camp on private property properties range from basic tents to glamping and VR uh, sorry, uh, sorry RV stays Um, it's like a B and B, but for camping. Trusted um, house sitters um, connects you to uh, can connects you uh, with locals, uh, which 
um, you can exchange pet or house sitting service for free accommodation and that's uh, trusted house sitters and number three uh, cook your own meals you can go to a market um, or find the cheapest supermarket and cook your own meals and uh, number four get um, rail passes like your rail pass europe and the jr pa uh, pass in japan when you when it comes to tra uh, train travel and um, if you're traveling around the region for a while rail passes uh, will likely be cheaper than just uh, booking individual trips and um, so obviously if it's just a one-off trip then obviously a rail pass it isn't going to be any good to you but if you're traveling say from city to city um, or town to town or or whatever then it would be cheaper to get a rail pass number five um sleep in large dorms 12 to 18 uh, bed dorms is uh, going to be uh, cheaper and um, in hostels than smaller dorms and uh, number six use student or other dis uh, discount cards are you a student teacher under 26 welcome to the world of 50% off attractions and pl uh, platforia are a lot of discounts museums galleries or the major tourist attractions some again are free though so make sure uh, whether you have to pay for the attraction especially if, if it's a museum or art gallery then because some days it is free but um most tourist attractions usually have discounts especially in europe it never hurts to ask and um, if you need to pay in the first place obviously and if you do can you get a discount that also often discounts for senior uh, travelers and um, army veterans and um, as well as and you might as well ask if i can get a discount um, if you have to pay or if if it's a free attraction then um, ask whether I, uh, you need to pay in the first place and how much and can you get a discount it's always worth asking number six um, uh, you can get city tourist cards and um, if you're planning seeing a lot of sites in a city and um, you should get a city tourism card i'm not on about um getting a city tourism card if you just want to see one attraction and that's it um but it but if you're wanting to see more uh, than one attraction in the city it's definitely worth uh, getting a city tourism card there will be offers um and there will be discounted and free access also to major attractions and museums as well as free public transportation e.g london pass Paris Museum card, Helsinki card, um, just head to the local uh, tourism office or tourist information office for that. So again, I'm not on about if you just want to see one attraction, it's if you want to see more than one attractions and um, also um, you can receive the benefit also by getting some free local transport if you did get um a city um tourist card um and you can check if the city offers them with the local tourism office uh, number seven get a free flight 
So number seven, in order to get free flights, collect points and miles, simply sign up to a few uh, credit cards or travel credit cards. So you sign up for a few travel uh, credit cards, collect miles and then obviously fly, uh, fly for free. And you can Google um, the travel credit cards or go on a, a comparison website to find out what's the best um, travel credit card or what the best travel credit card is for you. And uh, number eight, take free walking tours. Want to learn about the city, get your bearings and see major sites. Take a free walking tour. Just ask the local tourism office, your ho um, your hotel, or a hostel, um, or accommodation in general, and um, or you can just uh, Google free walking tour and the city's name. And uh, number nine, uh, use social net works also if you've got family and friends or say if your colleagues got family and friends and um, in a particular country or place then you can always go and uh, well try and always go and stay with them and then obviously that's going to cut costs on your accommodation um, especially if you're willing to do some work for that family or friend Um, or work colleagues, friend, or family. So it's just worth having a look on your social networking. Also, number ten. Um, you could also do what you call is wolfing, and um, it means work on a an organic farm for exchange for free room and board. Um. So those are just uh, some ideas on um, how to earn um, when you're travelling and um, ideas uh, to cut down at your cost when, uh, when travelling, um, whether it's in your, say, home country or abroad. So I would like to say thank you for watching and um, I'll see you tomorrow with... Um, my travel and my lifestyle channels improvements updates and more so have a good night and day wherever you are in the world thank you and bye for now thank you bye